2019 exam two, data analysis, question one. Okay, it's saying which of these two variables, that's day number and minimum temperature, uh, is the ordinal one? Well, something you can put in order. Looks like those numbers can be put in order. So the answer was day number. And just to remind ourselves, you've got your uh, ordinal data, stuff you can put in order. You've got uh, nominal data, which is just about all wordy stuff that you uh, can't put in order. Uh, postcodes are nominal. Uh, that was a trick on a previous exam. Uh, then you've got discrete, things you can count, and then you've got continuous, which you can measure. So if you look at uh, minimum temperature, that's obviously going to be continuous because it's something you are measuring. Just always good to think about a question around the question as well, and what other questions could be asked. 83% of people got this right. Some people said neither. Okay, we're gonna complete the stimulus leaf plot above by adding uh, values for the days 11 to 15. These are the values we need to be adding uh, up here to this stimulus leaf plot. We've got a key to explain that four slash one is 4.1. Uh, fairly straightforward. So if you've got 7.5, you would put a five here and 7.7, .7, just scanning down there. You can see the sevens there. Make sure they're in numerical order. Um, you got an 8.0 and 8.6, so an 8.0 and 8.6. Make sure you're lining things up in their columns and then 9.8 is out here. And you can see like everything's nicely in its columns. 83% um, of people got that right. I don't know what it says in the examiner's report. It just makes sense to me. Fairly easy. Okay, uh, we're doing part C, I now, and we've got to find the value of the first quartile. I'm going to do this a little bit differently. If you think about it, you've got to divide 15, because they told you 15. They're always good about doing these things. You don't have to sit there and count and panic during the exam. And you've got to cut it into four pieces. Uh, you might have some remainder. So if you go three, 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 uh, you can see you've got 12 here. So you're going to have three remainder. So you're going to have one on the line here, one on the line here, and one on the line here. So what is the value of the first quartile? Well, that's Q1, that's Q3, that's your median. So you know the fourth value is going to be Q1. It's just a different way of looking at it. So one, two, three, four, it looks like it's 12.2. Make sure you remember to look at the key. The key is the key for a reason, 12.2. Uh, you didn't have to put any units or anything on there. So uh, that's fine. And the percentage of days with a maximum temperature higher than 15.3. So 15.3 would be here. And so we've got one, two, three days. So that's three out of 15. Uh, some of you might spot that, that that's exactly the same as one fifth, which some of you should know is 20%. So the answer was 20% and 85% of people got that right. Fairly straightforward.